Cthulhu worshippers. It is I, the ghoul of the ghouls. And I'm here to tell you some stories. Some frightening stories. The first story of the night is a none other than a lost film from 1944. It is a terrifying film about an innocent young man. Well, what a scary film from 1944. It definitely felt like a film from 1944 and not a film by a teenager from 2020. Anyway, have you ever taken care of somebody very close to you who has been sick? Probably. I think all of us have. And I think all of us know how frustrating it can be. It's your turn. What do you mean? I did it yesterday. Twice. Yeah, but I did it the day before. Three times. No, but... You... Fine. So, how did it go? Well, Bobby's Bob. I had a friend named Bob once. He burned. 
Now imagine a person. That's weird. Now imagine a person above everyone else. You know, a celebrity. Have you ever wondered, are they actually human? Hello, everyone. Right behind me is the house of the very famous author, Stefan Kingston. And today, we are going to get an exclusive interview from him. Stay tuned. Mr. Kingston, we we saw you. None shall pass. Um, Mr. Kingston, Mr. Kingston, um, we're here for the interview you promised us. Say the magic word. Word? What are you five? All right. Simsalabim. Wow! Nice house! We made you the interview right there. And you can put your shoes over there. So how about first, you talk a little bit about your latest book, Numb. Candles. Candles. Uh, it's a book I wrote. It's a book that you wrote. Yeah. Yes. Um, all right, um, how about we move on to the next question. Um, where do you get your inspiration to write horror books? My... Sorry? My life. Your life. So, like, do you take real life events and moments and emotions that happen to you and use them in your books? And do you have any role models that inspire you? Okay. Third question. <laughs> what do you think the ideal horror book would consist of? Tea. Tea? You want some tea? Um, well, sure, but... That doesn't really answer my question. Yeah, I'm not giving you some tea. Do you think he's drunk or something? I have no idea. Thank you. Um, before we move on, um, I have to ask you a question. Um, are you drunk? Now, the next story is the last story of the day. I'm sorry. Everything good has to end at one point. Now, we all know how hard coming out of a closet can be. Especially when you're tied up.
That's all, folks. Have a good day. Have a spooky day. And also, BAH!